get this open. Here we go. All right. Such a big crowd. Oh, so nice. Okay. On October 2nd, 2011, 10 years ago today, my mother was fatally hit by a truck and killed while crossing the street. She was not only a single mother, but she was a Texan mother who raised four Texan daughters who went on to serve on an education, the military, and public service. <laughs> Living off $4.25 an hour, she taught us to work hard, just as hard as a man, to take care of our brothers and sisters and our community. But you know what else she taught me? When to be mad as hell. Right. I'm mad. I'm mad as hell. I am furious that my sisters and I were not allowed access to reproductive health care in Texas without undergoing a variety of loopholes, unnecessary examinations, and interrogations by medical experts. I am furious that we will never provide any sexual development education at any Texas public school. None of them. I am pissed off that I was brainwashed to believe that abstinence was my only choice. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm furious that it wasn't until I came to New Mexico and I went to college in New Mexico that it was only then in a Planned Parenthood office that I was treated like a human being, that I was given my birth control, I wasn't asked questions, there wasn't a list of what did I do or what didn't I do. I was respected for the first time and it wasn't until I came here. See, I'm mad, y'all can tell. Hmm. And I'm still outraged that the mothers, the sisters, and the allies in my hometown, in my state, they can't even make a choice about who they are and what they do with their bodies. And I'm mad. It's time though. You know what though, we can stand here and say whatever we want, but it's time to show this country hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, and I'm scorned. I'm scorned. My body is mine. Your body is yours. And no one has the right to say any different at all. We have a right as human beings to claim not only who we are in this world, but to, de to demand equal rights. We demand it for our friends, for our family, for our community. We all deserve it. My mother didn't raise me to sit idly by while others are being attacked. She taught me to stand up, to fight, and to never back down for what's right. I'm proud to stand here with my son in her honor and to stand up for every mother, every daughter, every person that, that, that don't have the courage to come up here, who don't have the courage to stand up and say, this is happening to me. I stand for all of them. I stand for every Texas woman who needs your help. It's hard to come up on a stage. It's hard to come up and speak. But when I was writing this speech, I wanted to end it with this, and I feel like it resonated with me. Whew. Whew. From the words of Maya Angelou, each time a woman stands up for herself without knowing it, she stands up for all women. Thank you, and thank you for taking care of my Texas sisters. <laughs>